Hi, I'm the Toll Bridge Troll. Welcome to our Charlotte Adventures. This is the National Whitewater Center, and if you want to see the face I make when I get terrified of rafting, you should keep watching. I kind of thought it would be like some of those log rides at an amusement park. You would get a splash of water here and there. They were like, do you want to do the family trip or the adventure trip? And we were like, the adventure trip. And then they were like, who wants to volunteer to sit in the front of the raft? And we were like, us. And we got really soaked. <laughs> yes. So soaked. And I did bring a spare set of clothes with me, but you know what I brought? Nice clothes. And a skirt, nice top. We wanted to go right water rafting in the day, but we didn't know it was going to have to be first, and so then being able to do anything else at the center, like the rock climbing or the hiking or anything like that. <laughs> we didn't have a spare change of clothes for it. Yeah, we tried drying our swimsuits on top of the car. It wasn't warm enough for that, didn't work. But Jason was kind enough to give me a spare set of pants. They were way too big and very baggy, but at least I was dry. Like I was stirring on a late night While you're straddling the speakers Get the bass right I got your engine with them I was zooming through the fast lane You know what I just did? I climbed up a telephone pole All the way up Took a big step Into nothing It was terrifying Still shaking Did you see there's a beer garden? Yeah. Are you gonna buy me a pretzel? Yeah. These pretzel steaks are a mockery to my national foods because I don't think they bake them properly because you wanna put them in this like salt solution and it's kind of acidy. I don't think that happened here. Maybe some food coloring? Not sure. Pretzel steaks, not great. This place, great. After a long day of adventures, we decided to go to one of our favorite restaurants in Charlotte, and that's Living Kitchen. It's making me hungry right now, just thinking about how good it was. Yes, it was so yummy. I always feel like really happy to eat like a big, nice restaurant meal after I had a whole day of adventure. It feels like you kind of earned it somehow. It's really fun. They make really yummy salads. Yeah. We discovered the feature on Airbnb, Airbnb Plus, which we didn't know about before, but I guess it means that the place has better towels, better blankets, a comfier mattress. It was a lot cozier. I think we're always going to look for it now. Yeah, because I've dried off my face with basically a kitchen towel before, and I always get really upset when the kitchen at an Airbnb basically consists of three spoons and a fork. <laughs> Our Airbnb was in this neighborhood called Villa Heights and it was really cozy there. It was really quiet. I had a great time in this little loft. I slept so well. The bed was super soft and the blanket was perfect. The patio at this place is super cute. It has a bit of a hippie vibe and we got this uh, awesome breakfast plate. It was called the Bro, I believe. It had all these veggie proteins on it, beans and sausages and tofu scramble and bread. It was so good. Even if you normally would just eat a scrambled egg plate, you should definitely get a tofu scramble when you get here because it's well seasoned, all the veggies, really good. 
Charlotte is most known for its NASCAR races, but today we wanted to do something a little bit different, something maybe you don't know about, so we came to the Gold District for a mural hunt. And the reason this is called the Gold District is because there were actual gold mines right here in the 1890s, so that means there actually could be some nuggets right underneath our feet. And this part here is the Riva Finoli passage, and it belonged to Italian royalty. And the Count used to like come here and check on this gold right through his secret passageway. He also had a little companion, a golden retriever. His name was Augie, AU for the chemical symbol of gold. And he always brought him along with him. I want to come along, check out the secret gold mine alley. We found fun murals walking around two or three different neighborhoods. I think they were pretty much everywhere. You could just stop your car or get off the train and go look around and see what you find. Yeah, have you found any murals in your city? Let us know in the comments below. I would love to see the pictures. So one of Corey's favorite things about Charlotte is that it's the only city in North Carolina that has a real train. <laughs> yes, real train! Something she dearly misses from Europe. Yes, I miss taking trains. And I think the train in Charlotte is actually a German one. <laughs> There's a stop right near the restaurant that we went to for dinner the last day. Yeah, it's called Flower Child. It has all sorts of different bowl variations, so if you're into that kind of thing, definitely go there. Hello. Hello. I got you a rose petal lemonade. Does that sound good? It's really good. It might be appalling for some to see that I'm eating vegetables again. We need to say goodbye to our friends now. Aren't you gonna say something? Mm, I think you should bring in the real star for this important presentation. If you enjoyed our adventures in Charlotte, you should definitely like this video and subscribe to our channel. Well, aren't you gonna say something? Speak to your fans. <laughs> Perfect. Good girl, me.